So that's it. All right, let's jump into a little Q&A. Uh, always got a good comment. DC Yang is ideally buying the same amount of schedule to try to target the average price of the year. So as a long-term investment strategy. Yeah, and I'm just long-term. I'm not a good tr trader. I tried that once and uh, it was awful. Bad experience. <laughs> I'm just not that good at it. But, uh, you know, if I'm just patient, I can wait. It's okay. But everybody's, it's just different. Cafe Racer says, I was bullish today. Hey, I told you. Like yesterday, I said, I was, we're talking about some, some bearish stuff. I said, remember, I'm bullish long-term, but I'm, I'm bearish in the short-term. But I got to remind myself to not give everybody just like the worst news of all time and just to balance some things out. And today's a good day to talk about those good, those good news parts. And there is. There's lots to be excited about. I just don't think that this rally is going to continue. But if I'm wrong, hey, it's a good thing I've been dollar cost averaging, right? Seems to work out. I can uh, sell on the later part. Yeah, Gala. So Gala, this was, where'd it go? Here it is. Let me share my screen. So Gala, this is from uh, Meg, BZK. Digital creator, crypto NFTs, MMA, TikTok, YouTube, co-founder. So she talks about Gala has been exploited. Someone has minted a billion worth of Gala tokens twice and is dumping. I don't know if that's going to keep going on. Drained a pancake swap tool to zero. I have not verified the story, but it seems like a redactable source, Binance Transaction Hash. And this is also from P Network. Uh, Gala on BSC notice the misconfig misconfiguration of the P Network bridge necessitated the redeployment of a P Gala. Let's just take a look at the price, shall we? That would be interesting. Gala. I own Gala, but it's on Voyager, so I can't do much. It's only down 8%. It's not bad. It's like people are just like waiting for <laughs> acts to happen. Why well, you could have had a nice little 29 cents up to 36. Nice. So that's what's going on. All right. Let me see. James gave me that link. Not yet. All right. I'll let everybody know when it's uh, when the link's available. Or you can just go to James's channel. It'll be there in a second. All righty, Teddy. I'm super bullish in Gala. I like the games. The look, games look cool. But if you really want to know about games, watch Crypto Stash. He's got his pulse. He knows what's going on. Hello, William. How That's the great question. Maybe James and Ben have a, an idea about that one. <laughs> watch out for climate activists. The penny is not safe. Yeah, they might dump oatmeal on it or whatever they did before. Stupid. Official guy says, dude, you guys said all the same stuff last year and look where we are now. <laughs> hey, the last year... Last year, I was a little bit more bullish. And then uh, I thought, eh, maybe we'll, you know, we'll go a little long. But I still took those profits. I didn't take as much as I should have because I'll never time it perfectly. But I'm pretty stable by what I talk about. And what I talk about are these, are these rules. It's all gone. Ever invest more than you can afford to lose. Everything's a scam until proven otherwise. Don't leave anything on exchanges, especially the, the rumors that are going on with, with FTX. Put it in cold storage. Take it off. You got to use an exchange to buy crypto. Doesn't mean you have to st stick it there. Don't use leverage and take profits along the way. I'm very consistent on those on those uh, those rules that I have, and that's it. That's all. Uh, let's see. Loop ring. What is? I remember that. The rent channel. That's right. Who wants to be an administrator, an admin? I love you guys. Thank you Tuesdays. I appreciate three dollars. Time to get a happy meal. Bajarki's back. Hey, legend. Where is he? Uh, investor relations. Sorry. Investor relations. Gotcha. Jarky. Lim Jarky. Didn't Gala have any sense in a wick? I'm not for sure. Probably so. <laughs> Yawn Fest plus nothing burger equals crypto YouTubers. Hey, I'm just telling you. Where we're, we're potentially going. It is boring. Bear markets are boring. It's just the truth. I can't tell you the next 100x crypto. I can't tell you the next thing that's going to pump. But there's a lot of channels out there that will tell you which one it is. They're not always right. But you can check them out. They're everywhere. Hey, Ajarki. Hello, everybody. Took all some account the dollar has lost 10% of its value. So Bitcoin should... You know, it's a, great it's a great point. Bitcoin should be 10 higher. Take care, everybody. Nobody talks about this. They're, he's exactly right. This is 
Let me pull up the Bixie. Oh, look at that. So actually, Ben pointed this out to me on one of the live streams. It's pretty straight on. Let me see if I can go three years. Yeah, and they said, it made a lot of sense. Ben said, when the dollar weakens, Bitcoin becomes stronger. So remember these time frames, 2020, 2021. Remember around April? Didn't we almost top out around 63,000 April 2021? Not too bad, right? And then, of course, it was still, at, yeah, but Dixie was very low, 90. And then, of course, we did it again in November as Dixie was, or the dollar was getting strength. And now here we are up here. And where is Bitcoin? So, yeah, it's a good point. Excellent point. Such smart subs. Thanks. Yeah. O says it perfectly. We're getting a lot of mini altcoin season when Bitcoin is some light. It reminds me of this, and we've talked about this before, but I want to make sure that everybody knows about this because this is the same thing you're going to hear. You're going to hear about uh, a 10-year recession or a 10-year flat market, most notably from Stanley Druckenmiller and uh, also from uh, Gareth Soloway and a couple of different uh, hedge fund gurus, which is fine. Uh, they can say that. Druckenmiller, I more tend to believe, he's been around for quite some time. But I want you to remember this. What they're talking about is these the 10-year the flat period or the, or the decade, lost decade. In 1967, the S&P 500, not maybe 1969, topped out around 834. Maybe it was over here. Yeah, 858. S&P 500 topped out. And you can see what happened here. It didn't hit 858 again until 1991, 1992. That's quite a long time to reach all-time highs right? But just remember, just like we see little mini bull runs, which are happening right now, as we can see with our markets, not in NASDAQ and S&P 500, but even though we, you know, down here in 1970, there was still a little mini bull run that you could have wrote up. Then of course you should take profits along the way, right? And as it goes down, maybe you start to do it again, take profits around here. Then it goes down. And then right here, 1982, when you could have done the same thing here from 1979, 1981, when Volcker was in charge. But 1982, you could have been swimming in it. And then, of course, off it goes to here. And then it's the same thing over and over again. There's always a bull run somewhere. Jim Cramer said that. And he was right. He's not right in a lot of things these days. But uh, he did say that. And he was 100% correct. Uh, let's see what else we got. Yeah, man. I mean, I know. Uh, I'm, I know everything's a scam lately. I'm just not feeling ETH. ETH isn't a big thing because we don't hear a lot about it because the merge was big news, right? The merge was was big news. I'm going to tell you something that would probably make you a little bit excited. Let me see if I can find it. Looking for sound money. Supply equilibrium. Supply change. No, I guess it's not that great. So let me just show you this. This is a website called Sound Money, Ultra Sound Money. And the supply change in the last, since the merge, it's only increased 2,000. But if we were on the proof of work, you know how much the, the supply change would have been? 599,000 ETH. That's pretty darn huge. So that's the old chain. Here's proof of stake, only 2,000. I think over time, I think, let me see here. Wow. I think over time, you're gonna see that ETH becomes more deflationary. And if it becomes more deflationary, it becomes more scarce and more scarcity, price goes up. So um, don't discount it yet. And also remember, that you know polygon is just making huge waves but it's a side chain off ethereum so picks and shovels right where did the uh, gold rush the speculators where did they get rich they didn't get rich the people that sold them the picks and shovels did so look at the layer ones the ethereum is the avalanches the cardanos the solanas all the things the things that are built on those I think that's where the money is. Could be wrong. So, yeah, I know. 
Yeah, it's true. Robin says, I learned one thing from 2020. All the crypto channels have no idea when the bull run ends or all time high, no matter what is being preached. Exactly right. We do not know. Nobody knows. And if they say they know, they're full of it. Uh, but what sh I just report on the news and I talk about when I take profits. I took profits today again. And uh, I talk about when I'm going to take profits. I'm never going to hit the top. I'm never going to time the bottom. But if I get around 60 to 80% of the next bull run, I'll be extremely happy. Extremely happy. And that's just what it comes down to. So, yeah. <laughs> thoughts on ben being too deterministic look ben's got his his ways and he's he's pretty straightforward where he thinks things are going james is the same way and i'm the same way i'm sometimes a little more flexible uh when the facts change i change and um you know in all honesty if you think about it really think about it ben's like he's gonna stay in cash and he's gonna just gonna stay until until one of when the fed pivots and james is like I'm going to buy and I'm going to play around. I'm going to trade. And I'm going to do things on leverage because I know how to do those things. I'm going to short stuff. I'm going to do those things because I'm a trader. And then for me, I'm just like, I'm just dollar cost averaging. In all those three categories, some one of us is going to make some exponential gains. Other one's going to make some really good gains. Another one of us might just make some fantastic gains. But the, the, the whole thing is this. We're all going to make gains along the way. The only way that we don't do it is if we do something stupid stupid like just you know sit on cash for the next 30 years and save like my grandmother told me to do or uh, the next thing would be dumb is would be to take loans out against our crypto and to buy more crypto so like or just you know massive 50x 100x leverage place you know like there's just some things that uh, we'll probably be okay if we don't do something incredibly stupid and that's just it and it just takes time <laughs> Robin says, bear markets are just as exciting. I mean, how low can we go? I got to agree with you. You know what I like about the bear markets is the uh, the venom that is spewed on Twitter these days. Everybody's in a pretty pissy mood, and it's kind of fun to watch everybody get into like little fights here there. Uh, hey, Rob, any resources on how to run a node for Dada Cosmos? Thanks a lot. I do not, uh, but I do on the website, danteacherscrypto.com, 100% free. I show you how to let me just show you. I show you how to stake all the things that you want to stake. So let's see. I did this yesterday. I'll do it again. Anyway, you click on start learning and give me your email. And I can spam you forever. Now I only send you emails when I upload a video. Which I don't do too often because um, I only put like the best stuff I have on here. So let's see. Members area. And again, we go over like the basics of basics. And they're very small videos, right? I, this is my favorite video. The easiest way to understand Bitcoin. Six minutes long or nine minutes long. And it was a great piece. Explain Bitcoin, top investors, why, da, da, da. But the next one here is our module five. How do I, how do I use the MetaMask? How do I update the firmware for my ledger? How do I do, how do I stake Theta? How do I stake Cardano? How do I stake Avalanche? How do I stake and stake Polkadot? How do I stake and stake Cosmos? And of course, I use my Nano Ledger to do those things because I want to be in control of my private keys, which is a non-starter for me if I can't. So watch those videos. And that's it. Try to give the truth. Get out of here. That's new. Dark Void says, hey, all a major supermarket chain here in South Africa started to receive crypto for payments. Send me the link. Dark Void, do me a favor. If you're on Twitter, uh, tag me, and uh, I'll talk about it tomorrow. Dixie isn't looking good. Lower highs. Yeah, we can't go up forever. Apparently, that was the, the weaponized dollar theory. Column, good question. Does that mean no one DCA Live with Ben and James this week? It's in uh, seven minutes, as a matter of fact. Hold on, everybody. Let me see if James texts me. Not yet. I'll let you know when it happens. I'm in the right time frame, right? I'm in Eastern time. Yeah. Okay. Let me uh, hold on. Let's go to Twitter. Let's find if I know James is traveling. Maybe he's too busy making some crazy trades. Who knows? Let's see. 
Oh, look at that. Sam Bakeman Freed. We're excited to help return the assets quickly to customers. I don't know, Sam. That FTX token is uh, a little interesting of the uh, liabilities and assets that you have. Dang it. Not here yet. Uh, sorry, everybody. I don't know. Ooh, great question. How does it live in Puerto Rico? It's fantastic. I do love this place. The weather is great. The people are... Everybody's in shape. And everybody looks good here. That's just very much how it kind of sucks sometimes. You're like, man, I got to get in shape. But uh, yeah, people are great. The food, eh. And uh, I mean, the weather and uh, the, the ability and the lifestyle is, is second to none. I do love it. So yeah. Sorry, the food... You can't beat the food in, in El Paso, Texas. You can't. If you like spicy food, oh, I'd like to join you, Norman. That's for sure. Uh, what's your opinion on Charles Hoskinson? Was he able to bank the unbank in developing countries? Well, Cardano surpassed Bitcoin market cap. Cardano, I don't think it... Like, it sounds ridiculous to think that anything can surpass Bitcoin and not in the near future. That's ridiculous because, I mean, if all the institutions are, look, the institutions, what they're going to ask for is Bitcoin first, Ethereum second, because it's the safest play. Bitcoin is probably the safer play because it's def been deemed a commodity. And uh, Genzer is not going to come out and say it's a security, so they don't have to deal with that headache. So anytime in the near future, I don't see it. But I think Charles is doing the thing he's trying to do and bring uh, Africa to the forefront, digital IDs, uh, NFT plays, telecommunications with World Mobile. I think it's going to work out pretty well. It's just execution. What? Food is incredible. You got to take me to some good places, I mean, because... Ugh. Mofongo, really? I don't know. I want to tell you this. There's a pretty good pizza place we like here, which is kind of crazy. That's it. All right, everybody. So look, I am going to. Ah, here we go. Found it. Everybody, I'm going to drop. Let me see that. So the DCA show is in five minutes, three minutes. And I'm going to drop the link. Hold on. I'll put in the chat. So everybody can find it. DCA. Let's, jump. Let's just go over there, huh? Let's continue this. Let the real brainiacs talk about stuff. I'm going to put it there, and then I'm going to put it in the uh, description. So for everybody's watching the replay, you can check it. Anyhow, I'm going to jump over there and meet these guys. So I'll see everybody over there. Thanks for stopping by. Like and subscribe. See you there. Bye. <laughs> That was the worst outro.